Welcome back to our channel, The Core of Self-Improvement, where we strive to help you unlock your potential and lead an enriched life. In our last video, we explored the four pillars of a sustainable and successful life. We delved into the importance of time, energy, health, and of course, wealth. We discovered that these elements are intertwined, each contributing to a balanced and fulfilling life. Today, we're going to focus on one particular pillar, wealth. Now, when you hear the term wealth, what comes to your mind? Is it a bank account brimming with money, a luxury car, a mansion, or is it something more profound, something that's not merely materialistic? As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll challenge the conventional understanding of wealth and expand our horizons. We'll explore the many faces of wealth and how they play a part in shaping our lives. Wealth is not just about financial prosperity. It's a multifaceted concept that transcends the material realm. And that's what we're here to uncover. So sit back, relax, and join us on this enlightening journey as we delve into the true meaning of wealth. Let's get started. Have you ever stopped to consider what true wealth means? It's a question that may seem simple on the surface, but as we peel back the layers, we find it's far more complex than we might, we might initially think. In our society, wealth is often seen as measure of success. It's used as a yardstick by which people compare themselves to others. It's a concept that's deeply ingrained in our collective consciousness, a symbol of status, power, and influence. But if we pause and reflect, we can that this viewpoint is only a fragment of the larger picture. When we dive into the essence of wealth, we discover it's not exclusively about the accumulation of money. Sure, money is a part of it. It, it's undeniable that financial stability can provide a certain level of comfort and security. But it's not the be all and end all, wealth. Wealth is a multifaceted concept. It's just the size of your bank account, the car you drive, or the square footage of your home. It's also about the richness of your experiences, the depth of your relationships, the breadth of your knowledge, and the extent of your impact. It's about living a fulfilled life, one that's abundant in all the things that truly matter. For some, wealth may mean having enough resources to meet their needs and the of their loved ones. For others, it could mean the freedom to pursue their passions without worry. Yet for others, it might be the ability to make a significant difference in the lives of others. Wealth, a subjective term, and its meaning can shift dramatically depending on who you ask. It's a profound concept that extends beyond the confines of materialism and ventures into the realm of the intangible. So as, as we embark on this exploration of wealth, let's remember to keep an open mind. Let's challenge our preconceived notions and allow ourselves to view wealth from a variety of perspectives because ultimately, wealth more than just money. Wealth can take on many forms. Let's delve deeper into that thought. But don't go anywhere just yet. Stay tuned until the end of this video to uncover the secrets of true wealth and how you achieve it. You won't wanna miss this. When people think of wealth, money is often the first thing that comes to mind. This is a common perception and it's not without reason. For centuries, money has been a universal symbol of wealth. It's a tangible, measurable representation of one's financial status. But the concept of wealth as money is much more layered than it may initially seem. Let's delve into this concept and explore the reasons why money has become so synonymous with wealth. The most obvious reason is that money is a means of exchange. It's a tool that allows us to buy goods and services from the basic necessities of life to the luxuries that we desire. The desire for financial security is another driving force behind the pursuit of money. Financial security means being able to meet our needs and wants without constantly worrying about running out of money. It's about having a safety net in case of emergencies and the freedom to make choices based on what we truly want rather than what we can afford. But beyond the practicalities, money also offers opportunities. It can give us access to better education, healthcare, and lifestyle. It allows us to travel, to experience new cultures, to broaden our horizons. It can enable us to invest in our passions, to pursue our dreams, to make a difference in the world. That's the allure of monetary wealth. It's not just about the physical cash or the numbers in a bank account. It's about the freedom, the opportunities, the possibilities that money can bring. Wealth is not only a resource, also a pillar to live a successful life. Yet while the advantages of monetary wealth are clear, it's also important to recognize the potential drawbacks of not having it. Without financial resources, we may struggle to meet our basic needs, let alone pursue our dreams. We may have to make difficult choices, 
to sacrifice our desires for the sake of survival. We may feel trapped, limited, constantly stressed about money. Living without financial wealth can be challenging, but it's not an insurmountable obstacle. It's a situation that can be changed, a problem that can be solved. With determination, perseverance, and the right strategies, it's possible to build wealth, to improve our financial situation, to create a better future for and our loved ones. Money, in this sense, becomes a tool for empowerment. It's not just about accumulating wealth for the sake of having more, but about using that wealth to create a life, a life that we truly want. But while money is a significant aspect of wealth, it's crucial to remember that it's not the only factor. There are other forms of wealth that are equally, if not more, important. There's the wealth of knowledge, the wealth of health, the wealth of relationships, the wealth of time. These forms of wealth cannot be bought with money, yet they can greatly enhance the quality of our lives. They can bring us happiness, fulfillment, a sense of purpose. They can make us feel truly wealthy, even without a hefty bank account. So when we talk about wealth, let's not limit our understanding to money. Let's broaden our perspective. Let's appreciate the many forms of wealth that we have in our lives. Let's strive to build not just financial wealth, but holistic, well-rounded wealth that encompasses all aspects of our lives. Money is, without a doubt, a form of wealth, but it's not the only form. As we move forward, let's explore the other dimensions of wealth. Let's delve into the concepts of wealth as materialism, wealth as abundance. Let's uncover the true meaning of wealth beyond the confines of money. Because wealth, in its truest sense, is not just about having more, but about being more. Material possessions are another form of wealth that people often strive for. It's a type of wealth that's tangible, visible, and often highly coveted. But what exactly is wealth as materialism? Why is it so important in our society? And what are the upsides and downsides of this form of wealth? Wealth as materialism is about acquiring and owning physical goods. It's the shiny new car in your garage, the cutting edge smartphone in your pocket, the designer clothes in your closet, or the sprawling mansion you call home. These are items that we can touch, see, use, and show off. In many ways, they're the most straightforward representation of wealth because they're concrete and unmistakable. These material possessions hold significant importance in our society for several reasons. First, they're symbols of success. When people see someone driving a luxury car or living in a palatial home, they often assume that person is successful. In other words, material possessions serve as a social yardstick, measuring and displaying one's financial achievements. Second, material goods provide a sense of security. Owning a home, for instance, means having a roof over your head, a place to return at the end of the day. It's a piece of the world that you can call your own. Similarly, having money in the bank or investments in property can provide a safety net in times of financial uncertainty. But beyond these practical aspects, material possessions can also bring a sense of satisfaction and joy. There's a certain pleasure derived from owning beautiful, high-quality things, whether it's the thrill of driving a fast, sleek car, the comfort of lounging on a plush, luxurious couch, or the pride of wearing a finely crafted watch. These experiences can add richness and enjoyment to our lives. However, like every form of wealth, materialism comes with its own set of challenges. The desire for material possessions can easily slide into excessive consumerism, where the pursuit of the new and the next becomes an endless, unsatisfying cycle. This obsession can lead to financial stress, envy, and a constant feeling of inadequacy, as there's always something bigger, better, or more fashionable just around the corner. Moreover, the focus on material wealth can overshadow other forms of wealth, such as emotional well-being, relationships, and personal growth. When we're constantly chasing after the latest gadget or the most expensive designer wear, we may neglect the things that truly enrich our lives, love, friendship, learning, and self-improvement. Additionally, the accumulation of material goods can create a cluttered environment and a cluttered mind. Owning too many things can lead to a sense of overwhelm and a lack of focus. It can also tie us down, reducing our flexibility and freedom. So while material possessions can bring joy and satisfaction, they can also bring discontent and stress. It's crucial to strike a balance, to enjoy the benefits of material wealth without falling into its potential pitfalls. It's about appreciating the value of what we own without letting our possessions own us. It's about understanding that while material goods can enhance our lives, they don't define us. Ultimately, wealth as materialism is just one aspect of wealth, one facet of a multifaceted concept. 
It's a form of wealth that's visible and tangible, yet it's transient and ever-changing. It's a form of wealth that offers security and satisfaction, yet it can also breed discontent and stress. Materialism can bring joy, but it can also bring discontent. It's a form of wealth that comes with its own set of challenges. Wealth isn't just about money and things, it's also about abundance. Abundance. It's a word that conjures up images of overflowing cornucopias, expansive landscapes and bountiful harvests. But what does it mean to be wealthy in abundance? In stark contrast to the narrow confines of financial wealth, abundance is a state of mind. It's the feeling of having plenty, not just in the material sense, but in all aspects of life. It's about recognizing the richness of experiences, relationships, opportunities, and even challenges that life has to offer. When we view wealth through the lens of abundance, money and material possessions become just a small piece of the puzzle. It's not about how much we have in our bank accounts or the number of possessions we own. Instead, it's about the value we derive from the things we have, the experiences we gain, and the relationships we build. Why is this mindset of abundance so important? Well, it changes the game. It shifts our focus from scarcity, where we're constantly striving for more, to appreciating what we already have. It's about celebrating the richness of life in its entirety, rather than fixating on what's missing. This doesn't mean that we should stop striving for financial stability or stop pursuing our goals. On the contrary, viewing wealth as abundance can actually fuel our ambitions. It can inspire us to pursue our passions, make meaningful connections, and seize opportunities that come our way. So how do we cultivate this wealth of abundance in our lives? The first step is to shift our perspective. Instead of focusing on what we lack, we should learn to appreciate what we already have. This could be as simple as acknowledging the comfort of a warm bed, the joy of a good book, or the companionship of a loyal pet. Next, we need to practice gratitude. It's easy to take things for granted when we're caught up in the hustle and bustle of life, but by consciously expressing gratitude for the big and small blessings in our life, we can cultivate a mindset of abundance. Another way to harness the power of abundance is to give generously. When we share our resources, time, and talents with others, we're not just helping them. We're also reminding ourselves of the wealth we possess. And finally, we need to embrace change and uncertainty. Life is full of surprises, and not all of them are pleasant. But even in the midst of challenges, there's always something to be learned, something to be grateful for. By embracing the ups and downs of life, we can truly appreciate the abundance of experiences that life has to offer. In the end, wealth isn't just about accumulating money or possessions. It's about cultivating an abundance mindset, one that celebrates the richness of life in all its forms. So let's redefine wealth. Let's shift our focus from scarcity to abundance. Let's appreciate the wealth of experiences, relationships, and opportunities that life has to offer. And most importantly, let's remember that true wealth is not about having everything, but about appreciating everything we have. Abundance, unlike money or material possessions, is a form of wealth that can be endlessly cultivated. So how does one become wealthy? It's a question many ask, and the answer may surprise you. Becoming wealthy isn't just about accumulating money or possessions. It's about cultivating a mindset of abundance, embracing smart financial strategies, and practicing mindfulness. Let's begin with financial strategies. One of the most effective ways to build wealth is through investing. Investing allows your money to work for you, growing over time to create a financial safety net. A common misconception is that you need a lot of money to start investing, but that's not the case. Even a small amount invested wisely can reap substantial rewards over time. Consider starting with a diverse portfolio of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. And don't forget to take advantage of tax-advantaged retirement accounts. Saving is another crucial aspect of wealth building. The power of compound interest can turn even modest savings into a substantial nest egg. Make a habit of saving a portion of your income regularly. It might seem challenging at first, but it becomes easier with time, and the benefits are well worth the effort. Beyond these financial strategies, cultivating a mindset of abundance is key to achieving wealth. This means seeing the world not as a place of scarcity, but as one filled with opportunities. It's about recognizing that there's enough for everyone and that success doesn't have to come at the expense of others. Cultivating an abundance mindset also involves being grateful for what you have, while also aspiring for more. 
It's about appreciating your current circumstances, even as you work towards improving them. This mindset encourages positivity, resilience, and creativity, all of which can contribute to wealth creation. Next, mindfulness practices can play a crucial role in your journey towards wealth. Mindfulness is about being present in the moment, aware of your thoughts, feelings, and actions, and how they impact your life. When it comes to wealth, mindfulness can help you make more informed financial decisions, avoid impulsive spending, and stay focused on your financial goals. Practicing mindfulness can also help you appreciate the wealth you already have. It allows you to recognize and value the non-material aspects of wealth, such as time, health, and relationships. This appreciation can lead to a more satisfying and fulfilling life, which is, after all, a form of wealth in itself. Finally, it's important to remember that wealth doesn't come overnight. It requires patience, discipline, and a willingness to learn and adapt. It involves making mistakes and learning from them rather than being discouraged by them. It's about staying committed to your financial goals, even when the going gets tough. So if you're on a journey to wealth, remember, invest wisely, save regularly, cultivate an abundance mindset, practice mindfulness, and stay patient and committed. And remember, wealth isn't just about money or possessions. It's about living a life that's rich in every sense of the word. Achieving wealth requires more than just hard work. It requires a shift in mindset. And with this mindset, you're not just working towards financial wealth, but a wealth of experiences, relationships, and personal growth. This is the true essence of wealth, and it's within everyone's reach. So go ahead, embark on your journey to wealth, and make your life richer in every possible way. Wealth has been a subject of fascination for centuries, inspiring metaphors, poems, and sayings. Let's start with a metaphor. Consider wealth as a vast ocean. Just as the ocean is deep and expansive, so too is wealth. It's not merely the surface of the water that matters, but the depth beneath. This metaphor reminds us that wealth isn't just about the visible riches, but also about the unseen resources, like knowledge, skills, and relationships. Now, let's move on to a poem, one penned by the great Emily Dickinson. She wrote, Wealth I ask not, for it is not mine, but the ability to earn it is divine. This beautiful verse speaks to the idea that the true value of wealth lies not in its possession, but in the ability and the effort it takes to earn it. It's a testament to the fact that wealth isn't just about material possessions, but also about personal growth and development. Finally, let's consider a saying, an old adage that goes, wealth is not his that has it, but his who enjoys it. This saying underlines the fact that wealth is not merely about accumulation, but about appreciation. It's a reminder that wealth, in all its forms, is meant to enhance our lives, not dominate them. Each of these, the metaphor, the poem, and the saying, reveals a different facet of wealth. The metaphor speaks to the depth and breadth of wealth, the poem to the effort and ability to earn it, and the saying to the importance of enjoying it. Wealth, as these wise words suggest, is not just about money or material possessions. It's about the richness of experience, the depth of knowledge, the breadth of relationships, and the joy of appreciation. It's a vast ocean, a divine ability, and a joy to be savored. Wealth is a complex concept, one that has intrigued and inspired thinkers for centuries. Wealth, as we've discovered, is more than just money or material possessions. It's a multidimensional concept, a spectrum that ranges from monetary wealth to materialism, right through to abundance. Monetary wealth, the money in your bank account, the assets you own, provides freedom and opportunities. Material wealth, on the other hand, is about the physical things we accumulate, from luxury cars to designer clothes. Yet wealth isn't just about what we can touch or count. It's also about abundance, about a life filled with love, joy, health, and fulfilling relationships. Throughout this journey, we've explored techniques to achieve wealth, strategies to build monetary wealth, ways to manage materialistic desires, and steps to create an abundant life. But let's not forget, wealth is not the end goal. It's the journey, the growth, and the person you become in the process. Remember, true wealth lies not in what you have, but in who you are and how you perceive the world around you. We hope you've thoroughly enjoyed our journey through the many dimensions of wealth. If you found these insights enlightening, we'd be grateful if you could give this video a thumbs up. But more importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What does wealth mean to you? 
Is it simply a matter of money and material possessions, or do you see it as something more? Share your perspectives in the comment section below. And if you think this video could help others broaden their understanding of wealth, please feel free to share it. We aim to bring you more engaging content like this, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join us on this journey of exploration and discovery. As we depart, let's remember, wealth is not just about what you have, but who you are and how you perceive the world around you. Thank you for being a part of this journey.